I'm standing at a place where I haven't been for at least half a century, Devil's Lake, Wisconsin. When I was a kid, I came here with my family. Now I'm 65 and I'm here with my current family. What I did this weekend, I suggest you do too if you have the chance. People are out this summer traveling again. Go somewhere you went as a kid or somewhere you haven't been for years. It's a window to your own past. How were you when you were at this place years ago? How are you now? You get a chance to reflect. You can stop and think. You pause. All the stresses you've been experiencing fade away. You are in the present and you are able to look back as well. I'm Chaplain Greg Holden and this is Dharma for Doctors, Spiritual Care for Caregivers. The Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Sometimes we have to go traveling to take a step back and find the power over our own thoughts. This summer I went with my wife, daughter, and son-in-law to some places where I went as a kid and where I took my own kids. My father took us to the Dells, as it is commonly known, the Wisconsin Dells, and we went camping and boating on Devil's Lake. At the time, I was obsessed with all kinds of things. My mind was pulled in many different directions. I was constantly thinking about females. Then I was thinking about sports and my favorite sports teams, or maybe movies and TV shows I liked. It's essential to take a pause so you can reflect and think clearly. Otherwise, the way life is currently it's like the giant wave pool at the water park we just visited. You are just hit and carried along by one giant wall of water after another. I learned from having a few days to relax and get away from the scrum of news and events that my mind is still prone to distraction. It looks for things to be obsessed about. The difference is that I'm aware of it now. I remember going on trips with the kids to Wisconsin and wanting to look for antiques. Now we pass the same antique malls I went into years ago and this time I felt no urge to go in. That's over, I'm happy to say. I'm better at being in the moment and simply looking around and appreciating what I have right here and now. I'm better at having fun and laughing instead of brooding over what I want and don't have. I'm somewhat better at being patient and not getting so mad at people or things. I still have a ways to go on that one, but over 50 years I've made a little progress. I'm also better at not overextending myself. I know, and it felt good to do that rather than running around in a frenzy trying to do everything. All these things came into a little clearer focus during a fun weekend, revisiting the things I did with my own kids and when I was a kid myself, we went back to Baraboo, the home of Circus World Museum and the Ringling Brothers Circus. We floated on our kayaks past the circus and we saw the people on the flying trapeze. We rode some exciting water rides. We did some roller coasters, we ate pizza, and we sat around the campfire at night. Take the time to do this yourself. If you are able to revisit your past and go through a time portal, great. If not, just give yourself some time to reflect. If you can, get out in nature. Here is another quote from Marcus Aurelius. Anyone with a feeling for nature, a deeper sensitivity, will find it all gives pleasure, even what seems inadvertent. This person will find the jaws of live animals just as beautiful as painted ones or sculptures. He'll look calmly at the distinct beauty of old age in men, women, and at the loveliness of children. And other things like that will call out to him constantly, things unnoticed by others, things seen only by those at home with nature and its works. I hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy nature and its works this summer, or at least to read a good 
nature book and write in your journal. It's all food for your soul and your spirit. This is Chaplain Greg Holden. Please subscribe and like this video. Thank you for listening, and I wish you peace.